taste things. I want you to step out now and I want you to explore your environment. And I just want you to simply answer, do you sense that you are inside or outside? Outside. Excellent. And are you alone? Yeah. Excellent. And do you sense that you are male or female? Excellent. Now, to get a sense of who you are and what you are, I just want you to stay relaxed here and everything that I say maintains the relaxation perfect for this experience. But without opening your real eyes, but opening your mind's eye, I want you to look down and tell me what you can see that you've got on your feet. Excellent. Now in a moment I'm going to count from one to three and on the count of three you're going to step out of yourself, you're going to turn round and you're going to take a look at yourself. One, two, three. Just step out of yourself, you can easily do this. Turn round and take a look at yourself and what can you see? Sort of, um, see, it's only like green, like a green dress costume. Excellent. And how old are you in this scene? Um, Is this a good twenty? Twenty. Excellent. Twenty-ish. And what colour is your hair? Like a red red blonde. So you've got a strawberry blonde girl, 20 years of age, in a green dress and clogs. That's excellent. Go back into yourself now. I'll stay quiet while you get back into yourself. And I want you to walk around and again, like walking on the path, walking relaxes you. Walking is comfortable. Walking is safe. I want you to go and find somebody. A place. An area. What's happening now? I just am like outside. On a mountain, just can hear um, like hot summer, like birds tweet, singing, tweeting. Yes, yes, good, excellent. Enjoy that. Relax to that. Go deeper. And are you able, from your viewpoint, to see other people or villages or settlements or properties? No, just sort of, it's like, um, you know, heathers Wonderful. Like, on a mountain. What are you doing there in that scene? What happened before to, to get you there? Why are you there? I feel like I got heard of something. You're looking after animals? Yeah. Are the animals there it's, with you now? They're not, like, small. They're just like eating like goats. Good, excellent. Not not big. No. Are you amongst them now?
this up. Like the side, I think. Okay, wonderful. Just relax and go deeper. I want you to take yourself away from that scene. We've got a 20 year old female, shrubby blonde hair, on this day in a green dress and clogs, goat herding. I want you to go to a time in this lifetime that you're exploring where you're amongst people in your everyday life in this place, in this space. I count to three, you'll instantly, without thinking, be there. And I'll stay quiet while you enjoy what you observe, what you feel. Listen to everything, see everything. And the sights and sounds and smells and tastes and feelings will become more amplified as you relax more and more as I count. One, two, and three, and you're there. Just enjoy that scene and pay attention and remember everything. Nothing distracts you in this world as you become totally absorbed in the life that you're enjoying, the past life. What's happening now? Just watching a woman with brown hair that's like sort of tied back like mine. Wonderful. Like, it's like a log cabin. Yes. A young man coming in and out, I think. It's like sibling, brother, my father. Do you know this is family? In yourself, are you happy to be here? Yeah. Wonderful. Now, so we can get an idea of when this was, the numbers from the year that it was, the numbers are going to come one number at a time of the year of the past life that we're experiencing now. And the first number is? It's a one and seven. Eight. 17. Nine and four. Seventeen ninety four, excellent. Just relax. And so we can find out the name, your name. I'll stay quiet while you go into conversation. What were you known by in this past life that you're enjoying now? Quite Grindia. Grindia. Excellent. Tell me to get something. Okay. Just follow that story now and tell me when you've done it, what happens next in your own time. Thought um, the, mo the, the woman was making food, but she looks like she's scratching something on the table. Right. Thought it was food, but it's not. And these are family. Yeah. Your father and mother. I think it's my brother. Your brother. I haven't seen a man there yet. Okay. Take yourself away from that scene now, and as I count from one to three, 
you're going to go to a significant moment in this life that you're exploring, a significant moment. Zoom out of that now and relax. One, two, and three, and you're there. Excuse me, a wedding? No, Ex my wedding. Your wedding? Maybe that. Um, this probably not a sibling. Your husband. How old are you at this time, Corinne? Probably about seventeen. You're seventeen now. Tell me about your husband. You're looking after goats. Excellent. Coming you... in, just grabbing is it reins or leads. Yes. He's got like short, short hair. Yes. Do you love this man? I think he could grow. Yes. Did you choose this man? I think my mum did. Right. So we're living with the... Yes. So you're at the wedding. And what are you wearing on this day? A corset. Big skirt, but not it's not white. And this is a happy day for you. What happens next? I think in a wooden wooden building with long tables. Right. Some sort of feast. Yes. Music? I can't hear any. Okay. This is a good day for you. You're happy with your husband. And before we were exploring three years ahead when you were 20. Go back to that scene now, come out of this wedding, go back to being 20 years of old in your clogs, in your dress, with your goats. I know you're still with your husband. There's two children. Excellent. But they're walking with me if it were out. Excellent. With the goats. Very young. Are they babes in arms or are they walking? Walking. Excellent. Girls, boys? I think the eldest one's a girl, the little one's a boy. Excellent. So there you are in the fields with your girl and boy, happy life. Go to the end of the day. And do you go back to your own home or do you go back to a family dwelling? Family dwelling. And is your husband there to greet you? He 
his work in in the house. Excellent. So like making your own tools. Yes. In a corner. Come away from that now. And in a moment, when I count to three, you're going to go to the next significant event in this lifetime that you're exploring. Something that is impacting on your current life. One. Two. And three. You're there. It's like um, snow and ice. Yes. There's a funeral funeral pyre pyre. You already have um Yes. A body on some like a bonfire mm. ready to be burned. A pyre, yes. Pyre. Don't know who it is. Who's there with you? Children. Your children. Husband. I think it was him on the funeral pyre. Okay. Just step out of your body. Just step out of your body and leave yourself there looking after your children. Come out of your body and I want you to go back to the time when you became aware that your husband had passed. Stay there in the funeral and take your mind back to the time when you became aware that your husband had passed. What happened? He was ill. An illness. An injury? A sickness? A sickness. A sickness. And did you care for him as a family? And then he passed? Yeah. Go back to your children now. Seems to be more than two. More children now. There are three. One's got red hair. Yes. How old are you on this day? Thirty-four. Right. So you've had sixteen good years with your husband, and regrettably on this day, you're honouring him at the funeral. Are you able to look after yourself? With your children in this lifetime. I feel it's like um, feel lost. Yes. Who else have you got for support? No one. I think my mother is there, but she's a lot older. Yes. A lot older. Yes. And the boy is um, taller now. Yes. Got smooth brown hair. Yes. What 
what happens next. Learning how to survive. Yes. Come away from that now. Just zoom above and leave that there. And just take an overview from where you are on that day at the funeral towards the end of your life. And is this a good story? Do you maintain yourself and your family? Put me in the same house. Yes. And the children are grown up. Yes. I seem to be on some sort of bed. Yes. Wooden bed. Yes comes up to like a um, crib. Yes. A lot plainer. Yes. Come back down into your body now. And this is possibly the end of your life in this life that you're exploring. And who have you got round you now? Daughter with red red hair. Yes. I thought there was three children, but I can only see two. Okay. And the boy is um, a young man. Yes. How old are you on this day? Old. No. I th think it. I feel more. Forty-seven kids yes. coming. Yes. Just have your final few words as I stay quiet with your family. Say goodbye. Send them love, wish them well. And from this bed, do you recover from this or is this the end of your life? I've done something like broken my leg or something. Right, I see. And it's not healing. Right. Seems to be a white mask. Yes. Do you survive this? No, I don't think so. Just follow the story as I stay quiet. Just pay particular attention to who comes in, in terms of physically and also spiritually, who gathers round you. There seems to be three children, one is young, younger, with the other two older, but they're hold, hugging each other. Yes. Hugging each other. Yes. Just come out of the scene but stay in the room and observe it as an observer. Allow yourself to be calm and relaxed and peaceful. It's doing really well. Just see it as an observer on the television screen of your mind. And just watch yourself pass and I want you to pay particular attention to where your spirit goes. And I want you to follow the spirit.
when the spirit's left the body and you follow the spirit, you can actually go back into it and see it through your own eyes as if you're there, feel it with your body as if you're there. Where do you find yourself now? It seems to be a lot younger following following a young woman. Yes. seems to be like the cross like beads and embroidery right have you been born again I seem to just follow, following her she's like turning around on um on a mountain top right Is this you that you're looking at? I think so. Do you feel that it would be okay to go into this body? Or do you want to stay and observe? Observe. Excellent. Just see what happens next. Is she alone? Yeah. How old do you think she is? A young woman, probably twenties. Yes. What's she wearing? Like long, sort of long skirts, dark and coloured, but her hair's loose. Hmm. What colour is her hair? Sort of very light brown, blonde. Okay. Is she alone? Seems to gathering stuff. Hmm. Can you have a dialogue with her? It's stocky now. Okay, take yourself away from that scene. Take yourself away from that scene. And I want you to remember everything. Remember everything that's useful. And I want you to find yourself now back at the portal with the gatekeeper. Take all the positive from the memories. Remember everything and find yourself now back with your gatekeeper. who says to you, you've explored the past life that's been of benefit to you and you've visited another life that we can explore again. But now you know your way there. Mm. And he asks you, who do you recognise from your past life that's around you in your present life now. Mm. 